Bo Bartlett. And why I didn't exactly characterize him as a lock is because when you look at this 141 class, Jeff, Jesse Mendez, Real Woods, Brock Hardy, Sergio Lemley, it's just so top heavy with the talent. And this is all in the Big Ten. This isn't yeah. the NCAA class for 141. This is the Big Ten, which is all going to move on to the NCAA tournament as well. So it's just because any given time you go out on the mat, I know Bo Bartlett has beaten Jesse Mendez this season, Real Woods, but and Brock Hardy too in his own right. Those are all top 10 wrestlers in the nation, but it just doesn't, it's not going to get any easier. The reason these guys are so tough is because good luck trying to beat them twice. I think Bo Bartlett can do it. I am I confident? Yes, but will he? Well, the percentages aren't exactly, you know, a guarantee, like, like we've been saying throughout this episode here. But Bo Bartlett is the top seed at 141, and he's shown that he can beat them, but these guys are all going to be out for revenge. Yeah, no question. And and I agree. The the top five guys at this weight are just outstanding. And I mean, this weight class is another one that is just loaded. And and in the Big Ten in particular. I mean, 11 automatic qualifiers uh, from the conference tells you about all you, you mm -hmm. need to know uh, about just how how deep this weight is. And the fact that Bo Bartlett is going into this postseason undefeated, to me, Zach, is one of the great stories here uh, of this mm -hmm. Penn State uh, team this season. Bartlett, he's just taken his game to another level. He has a different confidence about himself. Um, and, you know, he... He knows how to win the tight matches. Yeah. Uh, now, does that guarantee anything this this coming weekend? No, because I, I'm with you. I think any of those uh, top five guys are capable of going out and, and winning this thing on the weekend. Uh, but again, mm -hmm. Bo has just been so consistent in terms of finding a, a way to win, taking control uh, in the matches, yeah. and I, I'm not dominating, but taking control in the matches against other top ranked uh, kids. Right. Uh, you know, to be honest with you, I, I know Real Woods was number one most of the season. I, I really think Jesse Mendez is, is in my mind, a, a kind of a yeah. clear number two. And then I, I think both Brock Hardy and Sergio Lemley, and again, I'm not discounting Real Woods, maybe he gets hot here in the tournament. I, I just, sure. I think Real Woods has, and again, I could be proven wrong. That's what the, the postseason is for. <laughs> uh, but it feels to me, Zach, watching him kind of as, as this season went along, I think he's hit a bit of a wall. And, and we've mm -hmm. talked about this before with sixth and seventh year guys. It is just hard. This sport is a mental and physical grind. And I know there's a lot of people, and I don't blame anybody for coming back and using the the extra year of yeah. eligibility they got from COVID at all. But I think a lot of people presume that, oh, man, that's going to give those guys a huge leg up. And we just haven't seen it play out that way. Uh, and I don't mm -hmm. think it's because of of any lack of heart or effort or or talent. I just think, again, it is – a hard grind to go through a college wrestling yep. season and to do it four times is one thing to do it five or six times. It, it is really, really hard. And um, again, yep. we'll see how it plays out. I'm not sitting here telling you, I think real woods has no chance, but of the five that are, are the top five seeds here uh, in my mind, the one that would be most surprising to me to see win this thing this weekend would be real woods. Um, but I, I do think those top five, again, it's it's going to be a lot of fun to watch them go out and compete. I'm anticipating a Bartlett versus Mendez rematch and then let them settle it from there. But it's not going to be easy when in that quarterfinal matchup, or I should, or I should say the semifinal matchup, actually, Bartlett's going to face either one of Brock Hardy, who was very close to defeating him, and then Sergio Lemley, who I think is still coming on as a young wrestler. No doubt. No, I, and and both of those guys, again, are just fantastic uh, wrestlers. And I think, you know, Bo will have his hands full from the, uh, mm -hmm. I mean, really even from the quarterfinals on in. But certainly to, to win the title, uh, he's going to have to beat two really good wrestlers and, uh, you know, yeah. three good ones for sure.